What's up, Pirates? Wraith Talks here with Awaken TCG, and today we're going to be reacting to uh, the Singapore Finals. So this is a Grand Asia Open, so it's basically like the Nationals of Singapore <clears throat> that happened uh, last weekend, and so we're going to react to it, and it is a Sakazuki versus a Raiju, and so I know Raiju has a lot of new cards. We're going to be uh, uh, posting those up on the screen just so you guys can see, but let's go ahead and get the game started. So the Raiju is going to end up going first, and so that is its stage. It is German Kingdom. Uh, activate main you may discard one card then rest this stage look at the top three and reveal up to one German card and add it to your hand then you bottom deck the rest I, like I said I will have all these cards up on the screen so the Sakazuki uses his leader effect trashes a Helmeppo and draws a card now he uh, you know gets his two dawn but he passes turn doesn't have that brand new opener or um, one drop searcher so now the Raiju is going to go ahead and use his um, search card, a uh, Germa 66. You just play it, search top five for a Germa 66 card. And then he is going to use his leader ability, or uh, sorry, the stage ability where you just uh, rest stage, trash one, search top three for a Germa. And then he is going to swing five at his uh, opponent. And the opponent is going to block out with a 2K. And then, um, so here, let me go ahead and pause that real quick. So the, um, the Raiju played a, uh, a two drop, of uh, Vin smoke Raiju, as you can see here, it says Don minus one, you may trash this card and then you can play a four drop, uh, of the same card. So he did the on play. If you have equal to or less Don on your field than your opponent, if you have five or less cards in hand, draw two. So he played it and then he drew two cards. So there is the combos that this deck is so good uh, at and it's known for, right? So um, instantly, boom, goes to seven cards in hand, um, just giving himself a, such a big advantage. Uh, now it is the Sakazuki second turn. He is going to uh, use leader effect, trash a card, draw one. And let's go ahead and see what he does with his four dawn. So now I think the Raiju is not in a bad spot. Okay, so the Sakazuki is going to actually just swing nine. So uh, the Raiju is going to take that and the Sakazuki passes. So that is not a good sign for the Sakazuki uh, to start things off. Not being able to play something on four dawn. Uh, no searches, um, no Borsalino, Kuzan, nothing. <clears throat> right. And so now it is the um, Raiju's turn. He searches with the stage. Now he's going to swing five at the Sakazuki, blocks out and blocks out again. And then uh, you can't see it there, but he um, he rested four Don for this card here, as you can see on the screen. Uh, Vince Mocha Ichiji, uh, Don minus one. You may play a seven cost from your hand or trash. And so then he played this seven drop here uh, on play. Give one of your opponents characters minus 2000 power uh, for this turn. But if you have uh, equal to or less Don, uh, that effect activates. Uh, and he also gains rush, right? So he swung five, five, blocked both out. And then he swings another seven uh, with the uh, freshly played um then smoke card and so now it is the sakazuki's turn the sakazuki's at six dawn and he's in a world of hurt so he uses the ability again i feel like that's all he's been doing this match right so uh this is obviously a new matchup especially for me i haven't seen too much footage on this i'm not really sure how these go but not being able to play anything until your third turn seems kind of bad to me um he great eruptions um one of his units uh making that four drop a two drop and let's see how this turns out. It, it's already looking really bad for the um, for the Sakazuki, in my honest opinion. He goes three for the... Um, okay, so he bottom decks the seven drop and he swings 8K at uh, his unit there. Uh, and he actually ends up blocking out. Obviously, he has a really large hand size. So honestly, that's not a bad play. You got to keep a unit on the board. Okay, let's see here now. So it is the uh, Raiju's turn. And they're only at four dawn, it looks like. Um, one, two, three. No, so they're at five dawn, right? So this deck loves to dawn minus effects, right? And so uh, that's how you get the draw, right, with your leader. Uh, because the leader is when one of your dawn or... Uh, yeah, when one of your dawn cards on the field is returned to dawn deck, draw one, right? So, um, <clears throat> And you're always using these dawn minus one effects to get these bigger bodies on the board, which is pretty, uh, pretty good. So you're not only drawing, but you're also getting these bigger bodies on board and... It's pretty, pretty insane how this deck works. And so he swings double five, blocks out of one, takes the second. And then the Raiju has three Dawn to work with here. He is definitely just searching for cards that he needs, but he is at three Dawn still. So he does have a lot of options still. 
uh, there is a three drop Vin Smoke that he can play a five drop, which would um, return something to the opponent's hand. Um, so he, you know, he has some options. Let's see what actually ends up happening. Is he going to buff him up? Yes, it looks like he is. So uh, Don minus one, he's going to trash and he's going to return the Hina back to hand. And like, like I said, this deck is just so good. So now if the Sakazuki wants to KO something, he only has one swing to go for the 5,000 uh, power body on his board. And obviously he's going to have to give up more cards to play to be able to kill this other five drop. And so there goes Sakazuki using leader ability again. Uh, like the only thing he's been using all game. There, There's a Gekko Moria finally, finally, finally. Um, it might be a little too late. This uh, Raizu just has so much card advantage. And uh, honestly, board state is not the worst. Um, he blocked out of the 5,000 attack. And so he still has that unit on board. Which is honestly doing a lot of work. Making sure that the Sakazuki's hand is, is staying, you know, relatively small. Now the Raizu here at 2, 4, 6 Dawn. So Raizu is now at 6 Dawn. So... Uh, definitely a lot of options yet again it is raiju so uh there you go he is uh just you know organizing his trash because a lot of the times you can play uh, cards from your trash with this deck as you've seen on many of the cards it allows you to play a certain card from hand or trash uh meaning that sometimes you don't even have to uh you know reduce your resources from your hand you can actually add resources to your game through playing uh, things from trash and now the raiju has a big turn of head of him uh looks like he's in a swing five first at leader and he blocks out he's in a swing six at leader and the sakazuki blocks out again putting the sakazuki down to two uh there are three cards now four so um definitely a good spot to be in uh the <laughs> the raiju played a five drop Vin Smoke, uh, Niji Raw, and just sent the Luchi back just so he wouldn't have that swing available to him. Uh, he does have that Gecko Moria, which could be a nuisance, but I feel like the Raiju isn't such a good spot right now that he's not honestly not too worried about it. The Sakazuki is at uh, four cards, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what happens here. Oh, it looks like he's five, five now. Um, but it's still, you know, the way it's the game is looking, the Sakazuki has just been uh, kind of reacting only and not being proactive. I don't know if that's uh, because of how his starting hand was, uh, but just not being able to have, you know, those early searches to set up your game plan uh, probably is what's hurting him here. So he's going 6K at the um, at the Vince Moke. Uh, Raiju for uh, 6 to 5. Not sure what they're doing there. Looking at something in the trash. <clears throat> and I apologize, guys. I am feeling a little under the weather still. So if I sound a little different, that is why I'm, you know, resting up. Still trying to, you know, get these uh, videos out for you guys. As always, can't miss a day, you know. That is that is basically our model. We just drop daily videos for you guys, good or bad. Um, th they're all good to me. And then, you know, I, I appreciate you guys watching the video. So, um you guys definitely like a certain type of videos a lot more than others, but I enjoy making all types of videos. And uh, let's uh, let's continue on with this match. So uh, the uh, Sa the Sakazuki plays another Gecko Moria, and uh, putting his hand size down to three cards, I think. Um, but he doesn't KO anything. It doesn't look like okay. So he he gets one KO off. He gets one KO off. Uh, he played a searcher uh, off the Gekko Moria, and the Raiju is now at 8 Dawn. So this is scary now. This is scary. The Raiju is ramped up now to a lot of Dawn and uh, definitely has, uh, you know, a lot of options here. Um, yeah, there it is. There it is. So as you can see here on the screen, uh, this card is on play. Dawn minus one. You may trash two cards from your hand. Play up to four German 6-6 six, six type character cards with 4,000 power or less from your trash with different names. Um, Don minus one rest up to one of your opponent's, uh, 
Don cards, it, I mean, that one doesn't really matter in this matchup. Uh, but you're allowed to play four Germa 66 type characters with 4,000 power or less with different names, uh, which is pretty insane because you can play the Vinsmoke Ichiji, you can play the Niji, you can play the, um, you know, uh, just these cards where you Don minus and, and get these bigger bodies on the board. And so, as you can see here, he's definitely looking at which cards he wants to play. Because this is a big turn, he's just going to you know, have a lot of options. Because the Vinsmoke Raiju can play a 4-drop. The Vinsmoke Niji can play a 5-drop. And the uh, Vinsmoke Ichiji can play a 7-drop. So you can play all three of those. Um, and Don Minus, and then get three huge bodies on the board. Now you're drawing as well because your leader effect... So he did indeed play uh, three cards there. And so is he going to Don Minus? It, I believe so. So there he goes. The first Don Minus plays a four or five, um, which is going to allow him to draw two cards, I think. I'm not sure if he drew there or not. Uh, but he's going to Don Minus again, uh, you know, playing that seven drop and rushing for 7,000. And then playing also the uh, Vince Mokniji, allowing him to bounce back the uh rob lucci just to you know negate that swing as well like you know the the Ra the raiju here is just in such an incredible spot the um the sakazuki is like in a position where like you can't even go for for board here you got to just have to you know hope and pray you can lethal here honestly because um you're not living another turn you're at two two three cards it looks like one life uh how many cards is he at uh, four? Oh no, he he does he has a good amount. He has a good amount. He's like five, five, six cards. Uh, it looked a lot smaller. Uh, but regardless, here it's like if you don't clear board here, you lose next turn uh, potentially uh, because there is a five thousand body, a six thousand, a seven thousand, another five thousand, and then an eight k body on board. Like so, if you don't clear, like you have to clear both of the rested units, and you have to clear on top of that a third unit, in my opinion, to survive next turn, uh, or you just lose. Right, exactly. So that's what he's going for. Uh, you know the oh no, he's going for game. He's going for game. So the other, the other uh, oh no, he's going double nine k swings at lead, and uh, the Raiju takes both and is putting this uh, Sakazuki in an unwinnable position uh, because if the Raiju has the counter, which yeah, if you look at his hand, obviously he knows he has the counter. That's game. Yep. Yeah. See, so the Raiju knew the whole time, like, okay, if I take both of these lives and uh, ev even with the Hound Blaze, if he just goes all in, then I can just, you know, counter out and win the game. Regardless, that is the power of Raiju in this set. Earlier on in OPO6, I know we're barely about to be a month in. If that, probably like three weeks. Um, Raiju is looking like the best second format. I'll say it again. It, it has a good matchup into Gekko Moria and Sakazuki. Um, I'm not sure what its bad matchups are, but honestly, this deck is really, really good. People still prefer Gekko Moria because I think overall Gekko Moria probably, uh, in my opinion, has the best matchups uh, across the board. And I think the big one, it doesn't lose to Sakazuki. And uh, while still while people are still trying to you know make Sakazuki work, I think Gekko Moria just... Uh, has its number and making it just a little bit better than Sakazuki. But it is crazy that in the Grand Asia Open for Singapore that a Raiju actually takes it over a Sakazuki. Um, you know, the one thing we haven't had is a Gekko Moria win. There's been uh, probably the most amount of Gekko Morias in all the tournaments, all the large tournaments in OPO6. It's always like a vast majority of Gekko Morias topping um being played but they haven't been able to secure a win so it's going to be interesting to see when it finally does get a win but it's just been having bad luck maybe uh people say it's the best deck in format but it has not been able to win yet so we're gonna have to wait and see on that but regardless guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this match with me uh you know these new decks are getting really insane um i think the power level and the power creep is is you know slowly ramping up and it's not terrible right i, I don't think it's somewhere where it's like you know i'm gonna quit this game because you know the, these cards are just way too overpowered um there is still a lot of older decks topping like uh katakuri um ploofy uh newgate right so uh there are still a uh, so 
some of these OPO five leaders are still definitely doing work in OPO six. It's not just Gecko Moria. It's not just Yamato. It's not just Raiju. Um, and so, you know, it's just, you know, good things all around for this, uh, for this trading card game that, you know, we all enjoy so much, but, uh, thank you guys so much. Like this video, comment down below what you thought about this match, subscribe to our channel. If you haven't, we're almost at 2,500 subs. It'd be amazing if we were able to hit that before, um, new year's. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace.